Hey, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having a good Friday. Today we're going to be doing an episode of Pack Squads. This one's going to be episode number 9. And right now, I think we are on a pretty good streak. Uh, we have 17,500 pack and an 8750 from last episode. So if we can win this game, this upcoming one, we can open up two 17,500s, have a couple chances of pulling Crosby, Duncan Keith, and a couple of the new, um, what do you call it, all-star game cards. So we do have a chance to get that. And we're going to hope to God that we get something good for our first and second line. But I have not done a pack squad in so long. So I'm going to have to, you know, do another one for you guys uh, very soon. But let me just show you guys a team uh, that I'm going to be playing with so far. Because I have not done an episode in so long. Like, even I had to re-put and rebuild back this team from last episode. So this is what we're rolling with. Jamie Benn, Anze Kopitar, Marty Hansel on the first line. Then we got Nikolai Kuhlman, Paul Stastny, Jaden Schwartz. Mason Raymond, Nielsen, Hoodler, Wheeler, Berglund, and Ladd. And on defense, we got Shadden Kirk, we got Drew Doughty, Kari Lennon, Cam Fowler, Justin Falk, Ellis, and Hjalmerson. So, you know what? We left off on a pretty good note with Pack Squad, so we're not in the shitter right now. But right now, we're going to have to win a game. I want to get a couple more second line players. Something that could, you know, replace Jane Schwartz and Nikolai Kuhlman uh, on our second line. Because we do need some more second, third line scoring anyways let's get into this first game and we see we'll see what we can do all right see you guys in the game all right so we're starting up this game who does he have duchene kessel and parise a pretty sick first line we're definitely gonna have to outplay him a little bit because you know what he probably has four really stacked lines and i just have my original just one really good line so we're gonna have to play pretty well here and let's see if we can score a goal right here uh oh shit oh drew down he missed the puck all right let's get into this game guys Oh, Stastny, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, backhand. Oh, my God, I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, my. How do I not score that? Come on, Coolman. Bring that back. To Coolman. Back down. Shorts. Shoot. Yes. That is what I am talking about. There we go. One to nothing in the first period. Get that first goal. That's what I like to see. Oh, there's one. There is one. Nielsen. Yes. Making it two to nothing. And now we are on a t with a two goal lead in the first period. Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep peppering him with the goals. All right. So that is the end of the first period. And we are playing a pretty good game so far. Uh, definitely letting him up in terms of shots and everything else. Eight to eight in shots. It's not playing too bad. You know what? I'm not going to give him too, too little credit. He's playing a pretty good game so far. But... I want to get a couple more goals here, make sure I seal the deal on this game. What a goal! That was a dump and chase. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure who won the puck battle there, but he passed it right out in front. I did not not even expect him to do a one-timer that fast, but now we are leading 3-0. I think we have taken a stranglehold on this game for sure. Oh, one more. <laughs> Add salt to the wound. I think that was like 10 seconds after. I'm so sorry to the guy I'm playing. But uh, I want to score one more glitch goal just to guarantee that I get the win, right? But anyways, let's keep going here. It's still 10 minutes left. And there is the last goal. And that should be the dagger in the heart. Making it 5 to nothing in this game. Definitely outplayed him with my pack squad team even though this guy does have Matthew Shane a lot of top end defensemen you know what we played a pretty good game for sure anyways I'm probably gonna go fast forward right to the pack opening so I'll see you guys just there I'll show you the end stats as well all right that is the end of the game which means that we do continue our streak uh, and we can open up two 17,500 packs so that is amazing anyways we got a lot of coins that game 1108 too bad it's not double puck weekend, but we are now 7-0-1 in the season, and we're playing pretty good. We won the division title, I don't know how many times, like 8-9 times already, but we got 24 shots, if that makes a difference, 7 minutes time on attack. He did get a lot of shots, which was kind of weird, but he didn't really score any goals, did not really capitalize on his chances, but 
Anyways, we're gonna go right into the two 17,500 packs. Let's hope to God we get some of these new All-Star Game cards that we throw onto our team. A lot of things to look forward to in these new special cards. Alright, so the team is looking solid. I mean, we have one solid line. Actually, yeah, one good solid line. We got Shannon Kirk, we got Drew Doughty, we got the Jamie Benn line with Kopitar and Hansel. Honestly, all we really need right now is a very good first line or second line uh, forward. And you know what? Our team is pretty much set. So we'll open up the first 17,500 pack and we'll see what we get. Hopefully, a special card. There are some milestone cards out as well. But here it is, the first pack. Nathan McKinnon, which we already have. I might just buy a, a player that's worth 4k instead, because we already have Nathan McKinnon. Or I might upgrade him to his Hut Live version. I don't know. But we got Bork, uh, Sutter, Olsen. I don't think I would use any of these guys other than Nathan McKinnon. But, you know what? Not too bad of a first pack. We got a couple things there. We got um, Josh Harding. That's not bad. Uh, we can throw him into a backup bullies position. So there we go. We will use Josh Harding uh, for sure. But we're going to quick sell this pack. Other than that, I mean, Bork, Smith, Sutter, Olsen, yeah, don't need at, at all, right? Alright, so one more 17,500 pack. That pack was not too bad, so I might buy a 4,000 player, actually, when I think about it. Maybe, like, use a Marion Gabrick or someone. And the last pack here, and hopefully we pull something good. And we get, ugh, Braden Shen. He is not a bad player. Lovejoy, Rayner. Uh, Gustafson, Jaguar, Dorset. Any players at the back here? Uh, plus five all day or nay. He is not a bad player as well. Uh, just a little bit too small for my liking. I think he's five foot, five foot seven. Yeah. Anyways, let's send that to the collection. Let's add in uh, Mr. Josh Harding and who else do we have here? And Braden Shannon to the team. I'll see you guys when the team is built. Sorry about that, guys. I totally forgot. I already, I did not have Nathan McKinnon on my team already. So, he was in my hut roulette, and now he's also in my pack squads as well, which makes it a pretty good pickup all overall. I was going to pick up someone else, but you know what? Screw that. Nathan McKinnon will be on our team for now. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. We did get a pretty good pickup for our team in 86 overall. Nathan McKinnon with 87 uh, shooting, 88 skating, 88 hands. Pretty solid player overall. But... I'm going to leave pack squads for one game per episode because it does take a while to edit and not many too, many people watch it anyway. So I'm going to leave it at that. One game per episode. Hot Real Light will stay at two, maybe even three in the future. But I will keep this nice and exciting, these episodes, so you guys can look forward to it. All right? Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did enjoy. It means a lot if you do. I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Tanzanola. Tanzanola? Tanzanola. I don't know how to say his name. And in the back up we got Blackwood. Alright? So, what I have here is not just for 17,500 packs. Uh, wait, were, were those the player of the game? No, that was Mario Lemieux. Uh, I just want to quickly see what the player of the game is.